Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Moon Colony live stream. It's nice to see you all again on a on a beautiful Monday today. Um, so today we've got Melissa here uh, for uh, a, a, I was going to say a very special stream, which I think it kind of is a special stream. Because um, <laughs> uh, for those of you who might not have seen it, we launched our new Moon Colony competition today, which is all themed around uh, baby beasts. Um, I actually have a few slides here to, to show you while Melissa uh, gets set up. Um, so look, it's called Hatchling Havoc. It's super cute. Look at how adorable that is. Um, and uh, it's going to be running from today until the 7th of April. So it's, it's about six weeks long. Um, and uh, we've made a nice little mood board for you. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Um, and uh, the lovely folks over at Hueyon have sponsored this competition for us. Amazing. Uh, I'm so happy that this sponsorship went through. Uh, Hueyon's tablets are fantastic, as I'm sure you're all aware. Um, so you know, first place, we've got a Hueyon Canvas Pro 13 and a one-to-one -one portfolio review with uh, a Moon Colony artist. We have for second place a Huion Inspiroy Q11K V2. There's a lot of there's a lot of uh, numbers in there. Uh, third place gets a Huion Inspiroy Inc H320M, and our community vote uh, winner, who is voted by uh, the lovely folks over on our community Discord, gets uh, four months worth of Discord Nitro. Uh, I'll show these slides again, sort of uh, later on in the stream as well. But for those of you who don't know that we have launched a competition, we have. Uh, <laughs> so uh, come along and take part. The lovely cover art here was made by uh, Melissa, which is one of the reasons why we got her on the stream today. Uh, it really is beautiful. So go and take a look. Uh, so much praise from Jade and I cannot, I cannot I know. sustain all of this. <laughs> I know, it's surprising, isn't it? It's only Monday. <laughs> I know. Um, but yeah, so so to sort of start the competition. Uh, we thought it would be nice to get Melissa in here and draw us a cute little, a cute little beast, whether it's a, a baby or just a cutie, cute little dude. Um, we thought it'd be lovely. So here she is. Um, feel free to let us know what your thoughts are about the competition brief if you've read it already. And if you haven't read it already, then uh, take a look on our Discord. I'll drop an invite link in the chat. Um, so just because you see a dragon's there, it doesn't have to be dragon. Many exactly. things comes from an egg. Exactly. Um, feel free to do whatever beastie you would you would like. Uh, I want to see some. I want to see some really creative things this time round. Uh, Messiah <laughs> says, uh, "What is the community winner? The community winner is uh, is somebody who has been voted on by the community. So at the end of the competition, once all the submissions have been done, then uh, we ask you guys to vote on your favorites and." whichever piece got the most votes is our community winner and they get in this competition they get a few months of discord nitro i hope that's uh, i hope that that clears things up but yeah i'm very excited about it i love these competitions a lot so i'm looking forward to see what we get finally we're doing a creature <laughs> I think when we, the last the last one we did that was specifically creatures was probably um, the food frenzy one, if you could call those creatures. <laughs> but yeah. Should I show what I was planning? Yes. Yeah. Please do. Yeah. Go ahead. So if you go to the streaming uh, channel on the Discord, you will mm -hmm. find exactly this um, this file. And I was thinking um, of doing creature that comes from an egg. And because we are having inside joke that Jaden doesn't like the taste of the mushroom, and I want to take Jaden on a, uh, a walk through the forest so we can pick mushrooms together. Uh, I was thinking torturing Jaden as a revenge from previous stream today, <laughs> and also it's Monday. Uh, with drawing some mushrooms creatures, uh, but then competition get announced before the end of this uh, stream. So I will see with mushroom I will pick. 
I was thinking talking about a few of them. Uh, I pick mushrooms myself when I'm at my home place, uh, birthplace, how you say it. Yeah. And uh, this is one of the most quality mushrooms you can find. Those are rare. I checked up on the English, it's called Caesar mushrooms or king mushroom. Mm-hmm. Uh, it starts like an egg. When you see it in the forest, it starts like a, a, a white wall and then it opens and it looks like an egg, um, the yolk is coming out and then it will rise in, in normal mushrooms. Sometimes you can see the white on top. This is orange. The red one is one you should not consume. Some people do consume it to get uh, a bit tangly feelings, <laughs> uh, but I, you can also throw up. So don't mix it with the red one. This is orange one. Uh, what also comes from the egg like is this one. This is that cup. So I just put it here so you know if you go mushroom picking, there are many that are not for eating. Some are just not eatable, not particularly tasty or useful. Others are deadly poisonous. This is one of them. This is that cup. It's mostly in Europe, but it started going through on other continents. It also starts from egg like and then when it opens, but it's much more pale and you can mix it with this one uh, this is like a, this would be wild champion how you say it champion champion oh oh champ, uh, is it champignon okay uh, this would be something like a wild wild um, variation let's say you can mix it with that or you can mix it where is the purple one i had purple ones or with maybe this one or i don't know names on english i would tell you more so this one don't even touch don't put it with the rest of yours uh 30 grams can kill a man uh, and it's that uh, sur- you can survive it 10 to 30 percent you can survive <laughs> the kids kids won't survive Ki- kids is 100 percent if it's to be lived to google wiki <laughs> uh, so eat this one i think you can even just put it a bit of on fire on on war so i need it that way and then there are some others uh here this is really nice one to eat this is oyster mushroom really nice this is chanterelle the, the great uh, you can pick any of these for inspiration uh i'm just now telling what you can eat and what not, <laughs> yeah, not we're all getting all nice like eating. biology not lessons all for eating yeah <laughs> uh but uh, for example this the star mushrooms could be great reference for the character uh and then just to prove you just to prove you that i'm not talking a bunch of nonsense here are some artist inspiration that i said first of all uh is um Coliandre, uh, they are French artists, they uh, they do this one year, I think they have a book where they uh, took specific species of mushroom and then they created creatures or dragon-like. Uh, and I was thinking of doing something like this today, but then I think I will also add tortoise. So just mix um, basic two stuff. Mm-hmm. I, uh, see, this is his uh, star mushrooms or their star mushroom. It, it, it's... Yeah. Uh, great way to to use this one is it's this one see so just imagine little creatures going on the forest floor uh looking what they can find in leaves uh looking for bugs it stuff like fluffy. that it is fluffy uh when it's uh, when it's done uh, when it's about to make spores mm-hmm. uh you can take all of these bubbly mushrooms and uh, squish them, and then it's like small uh, train choo choo. Uh, oh, yeah, like makes smoke. Yeah. So you, you can also find them in the meadow, and, and when you take them, you can um, ruin your friend's day by pushing this onto them. Oh, my God. Uh, like making us bomb onto them. <laughs> it's great fun when you're a kid, and there's nothing better to do on the field. Uh, what <laughs> else? What else? This is non eatable. Uh, it looks like a turkey tail but it's not that one uh, but it's great design to it doesn't have to be creature it's more suitable for environment uh, to put it everywhere um, and or add some details i also love lichen uh, lichen is not mushroom uh, mm-hmm. they're really really tiny so you need a micro camera the way i the why i started uh, this idea is Jaden wanted egg and hatchlings and I saw uh, from the found, uh, found wood, you can find them on Instagram. I At least I follow them there. Uh, 
they drew this um, snake like and they're like oh this mushroom this mushroom here inspired me and then i started looking into it and i'm like you know what Jaden? there's mushroom that's like egg and we can use it for competition but then of course i went way over we also have mushrooms in hollow knight and everyone is waiting for the silk song you have the boring guy who you want just to kick off the of the map you know at the end <laughs> he he flies all over the map to not be seen again <laughs> Uh, we also have um, this cute little guy. Uh, I also follow them on Twitter. So if you want some inspiration, I pick these th th three artists. If you want references, here are your mushrooms and also some tortoises. Uh, I first started sketching tortoise, so I think I'm going to continue on that one. Mm -hmm. And you can talk a bit more about competition. Well, yeah, I mean, I was going to say uh, again that you've put the uh pure ref folder in mm -hmm. uh in our streaming channel on the discord so if you want to take a look at all of those references in more detail then go and download it take it um it's uh it's yours and I if... see. oh no you go ahead i will see what i came up with i was thinking turtle and then adding oyster mushrooms on it and then mm -hmm. just doing it as a study but slapping mushrooms on the animals and trying to incorporate <laughs> them and maybe you could add some lesion too or some you can just add shapes it doesn't have to be by color or mm -hmm. by nature shapes are fine as you can see uh they are she's really successful at just making the the nice graphic shapes mm -hmm. and putting natural elements on everything so yeah okay sorry no no, no, no don't apologize it's fine um i was gonna say this will be this could be a great way to uh, get some inspiration for the for the competition as well, I suppose. But uh, if you if you uh, want to see more references for the competition, then you can always look back at one of uh, it's the second competition that Moon Colony ever did. Uh, it is the uh, Beaster Eggs competition we did years ago uh what's that 2022 um you can go back and look at all of the submissions in there we have a an archived channel in the discord that you can go and take a look at get some inspiration there are a lot of really great submissions for that so check it out uh, i'll just take a look at the chat i see there was quite a lot of mushroom puns going on in there so really? uh, yeah um let me go back uh Hello, everybody, by the way. Uh, it's nice to see you. Um, do, 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 do. There's a cute tort today. There is. There's going to be a very cute tortoise today. Mm. What a wonderfully organized pure ref folder. <laughs> yeah. That's when you leave me at 2 a.m. Uh, night before the stream well, every time. Yeah. Uh, are you a fun guy, Jaden? <laughs> I like to, I like to think so. I like to think so. Fun guy. Uh, she wants to feed Jaden a death cap, probably. I wouldn't put it past her, to be honest. I explicitly teach you all what not to eat, and then you're putting this on to me. <laughs> there you go. You're just teaching me what to look out for when when you inevitably try and feed me mushrooms. Sometimes they say even if you cut with the same knife that mushroom mm. and then cut the other one, you can bring the toxin enough. And also the cooking, boiling, heating does not uh, small the toxicity of mm. the mushroom. Damn. Uh, you can you can in fact eat any mushroom, but only once. once. Yeah. <laughs> very true. Very true, Leo. Uh, we've got fungus among us. Very nice. Uh, Jaden, what time is it? Melissa starts showing deadly mushrooms and explains the complexity of the fun guy world. <laughs> I like it when we start Melissa's streams because every time we go into like some kind of uh, some kind of deep dive into <laughs> into an aspect of biology. It it's be... not that deep. It's, it's well, it's deeper, it's deeper than I think that we're going to get, which is 
always nice. It's a nice surprise. It, I, I really had all this in my backyard. <laughs> you had death caps in your backyard? Among other stuff, yeah. Wow. You can you can find them. I we only had like the teeny tiny little mushrooms. Really? We only had um, the it was it was amazing to me uh, when we were visiting my grandma's place. She was living on higher altitude, and then going around her house uh, where you have a bit of forest, bit of meadow. Totally different mushrooms than uh, what I see at my house. I thought I couldn't find this anywhere close. It was like 40 kilometers distance. And I can see like dead fingers. It looks like a bit of dead zombie fingers going through the ground. Three, yeah. four. It's, it's creepy. And uh, some, some other that I never saw uh, in person. I have an encyclopedia actually. It's hard to pull it out from my other books. Um, it was a gift for, for uh, my husband. For past birthday, mm. it's not got only like eatable mushroom, but also f fun fungi, fungi. Yeah, fungi. Yeah. I'd like that. That'd be a cool. That'd be a cool book to have. Yeah, we got a lot of pictures. Not much of yeah. text, I think. That's yeah. That's good. That's fun. <laughs> yeah, the best books, pictures. Yeah, the best books are the the best books are picture books, and I will and I will die on that hill. I'm drawing Pokemon. Look, I was gonna say it's like when people draw a like a hyper realistic Squirtle mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh... I don't know, can we do fan art for the competition? Uh, not re no, not really. We prefer oh, to do no. like original uh, original okay. pieces. <laughs> gotta, gotta unleash that, that pure creativity. Uh, Leone says, in this stream we will learn that we have mushroom to grow. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> you guys are terrible. Okay, I really liked this. Mm -hmm. This shape of... I will try to do that. It's gonna be awful when I try to mix all of this. Mm -hmm. But you've got this really nice... Um, how could they call them? Every year they one grows, maybe. Oh... Uh, I don't know what you would call, like... I, I know rings. the name... <laughs> Okay, rings, yeah, like on the tree. Yeah. Oh yeah, and you wanted to be Bebe. Bebe. Or at, least, at least at least cute. One or the other. You're saying that all tortoises are not cute? Mm, well, I don't know. Okay. I've seen pictures of like the inside of some some tortoise's mouth and it creeps me out to be honest. No, no, they're cute. I, I feed my tortoise. Um, it's stupid. It cannot eat properly from the ground. <laughs> uh, it just clips all expensive uh, things I buy. Uh, the small round things, what's called uh, kibble. Yeah. Oh, everywhere. And then I need to feed it one by one to mouth. But the thing is greedy. It's like never eaten <laughs> before. So she starts. Uh, he, it's he. He starts biting me. And sometimes he would bite my, my skin, but the mouth is cute, it's got little cute tongue and you can see in the morning when he sits under his um, light bulb, yeah. when he yawns, it's the cutest thing. It's oh yeah, it's it's like, oh no, yeah, tortoises are fine, it's turtles, like the sea turtles where they have like barbed, mm. like the inside of their m mouths are all barbed because they eat jellyfish, oh. so... It, it's really creepy. It's like they have teeth going all the way down their throat. It's really gross. Okay. But yeah, I've thought about getting a a tortoise before. No, don't. But they're really cute. The boring and uh, yeah, that's why they're, they're suffering. And it's really hard to find the good uh, light bulb for them. It needs to have uh, UVA and mm -hmm. UVB 
yeah. light. So it's really hard. I cannot find for months and I need to change old one. Mm -hmm. But I cannot find it. Uh, it's mostly for the lizards and the pet shops I was buying them don't have them anymore. Mm -hmm. So I'm annoyed. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't. And then it would grow uh, uneven shell and you need to bath it and don't get me started on pee pee poo poo. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I wasn't going to get one because. I don't have an outside space for it and that would be unfair so i'm just gonna not bother but we have big terrarium but we uh, when we are taking it outside uh we put it i made like a cage mm -hmm. and it can eat through uh, at the bottom yeah because if i don't it's gonna hide itself mm -hmm. and then it's gonna dig a hole and i would <laughs> I wouldn't able to find it even if i put the fence it's gonna dig through yeah under yeah <laughs> At least my dog w won't bite it. Uh, uh, the friend lost his to dog. I teach my dog to not touch it. No. I'm surprised. I'm always surprised by how good they are at digging. To be honest, they're really good. Mm. At... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the other thing. I turned the lights off in the evening. And he's supposed to go sleeping, but he got instinct for, to dig and dig. And I put the <laughs> ceramics floor, but turned them over so he can spend his fingers mm -hmm. on that. And he would scratch for half an hour trying to dig himself into that, but he cannot eat glass and ceramics. And even when I put the a lot of coco coconut um, thing and the dirt, he would try to dig half a meter down. So it's pointless. <laughs> Oh, it's so, it's so silly. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, Regido. Nice to see you. I'm excited to see what people come up with for the newest competition. Me too. Me too. Um, Ignacio says, Jaden, I have to do the competition. So if I forget, you mushroom mind me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's... Um... Sometimes I find them stupid, but because it's about mushroom, I'm like, hee <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's, it's so stupid that it's funny. Um, Leonie says we have the perfect light bulbs for tortoises here. It's called the sun. Yeah, imagine Jaden trying to find the sun for he's in England. Just like running around the whole country trying to find the sun. I have a friend who has a tortoise and they live in, uh, they live in Scotland and... Mm -hmm. Theirs is theirs is fine. This has theirs is having a great time. Good for her. Yeah. I'm uh, looking. Can I reuse what what I already have drawn? No. I'll draw it again. Looks like he has a cute little hat on, like one of those little okay. uh, <laughs> like yeah, sunflower but... hat things. I, I I was thinking on this mushroom, the star yeah. mushroom. Yeah. To be something like that, and then this turtle is, uh, it's, it's really nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sad that I cannot incorporate this like um, snake fork tongue because he's covering it with his uh, Pokemon head. Yeah. The the star mushroom reminds me of those. Uh, what are they called? They're called like uh, I just looked it up. Rat. Raphalicia, Raphalicia plant uh, plants. I don't know. They look like. Oh, you mean the big, the big uh, smelly yeah. flower? Uh, I think yeah, I think they smell. I'm not entirely sure. Mm. No, sm but smell they're bad. Huge. Yeah, I think so. But yeah, they're huge. Okay. I remember the first time I saw them was from a video game, and then I, when I found out they were real, I was like, "Whoa, that's amazing." <laughs> Um, Leo said, I, I once saw some giant tortoises in the zoo and they were very old and very attached to their caretaker. It's so cute. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah, the uh, first I was scared that he's always going to be scared of us, that he always going to run. And uh, you can see when he's scared, he's breathing really fast. Mm -hmm. And when he's breathing, the head and all the legs, are, it looks like they are twitching mm -hmm. of fear. 
And I'm like, oh, this is going to be forever. I am um, torturing this animal. But now whenever he see the color of my skin, he's running because he thinks the food is coming it's from coming. here. <laughs> I'm always surprised by how quick they are as well. You know, like tortoises are, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tortoises are stereotyped to be quite slow. But when they run, they're pretty quick. <laughs> when they're motivated so motivation yeah. for my comes in the form of uh, i start scratching just um, i'm doing something and i start scratching he's like food, food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i love them they just seem super chill most of the time okay let's say this is the base and see how i can attach mushrooms to this yeah yeah uh, again, I wanted to start with these mushrooms, but we are going to move to some of these. Oh, those are really nice. Which one should I pick? I thought of oyster mushroom, but now I'm thinking of... I think this is also oyster mushroom, but in different color. I nice. never saw this in yeah. person. I will give you the, 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 yellow, the yellow one above... Uh, one? That one, yeah, that looks pretty mm -hmm. tasty. They are tasty, and I like them cut on the small and put them in a, a lot of oil or fat. Mm. And when when you cook them really good, to me it looks like young potato. Okay, Th that's the taste, and I really like young potatoes in a lot of fat. Mm. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, what if I start with this one? Then it needs to be even smaller. Uh, oh, hello, Floya. Nice to see you. Welcome. Floito. Floito. Uh, how fast can giant tortoises run? I just looked it up. Um, where is it? Uh, giant. So, African spurred tortoises have a top speed of 0.3 miles an hour. In contrast, the Galapagos tortoise can only move about about 0.1 miles per hour. So that's 0.3 miles in kilometers. It's like 0.4 kilometers. It's 400 meters in an hour. Really? But that's they are not motivated. Yeah. Uh, it's fastest the tortoise can move about 0.5 miles per hour. They're still pretty quick when you consider they're carrying around a massive shell. <laughs> that's uh the shell is their chest um ribs. It's yeah, like it's ribs, ribs yeah. but on outside. Yeah. I can't express how disappointed I was when I found out that they couldn't leave their shells like they do in in uh mm -hmm. like in Mario okay. in cartoons, yeah. So that always really upset me. When I found that out, I was like, no, why why? See this one is so slow that fungus started growing. Mm. Fung fungus I see. Mycelium. How you say mycelium? The thing that um, mycelium. So mycelium. So the this what you see is like a fruit, mm -hmm. and the main thing is in the ground. It can be old few years, and this will be all few days. Yeah. Yeah. It, I think in English it's pronounced mycelium. Or at least that's how I've heard it. Like my name. Yeah, like your name. My Lisa, my Lisa. <laughs> hey, the way people say my name can sound like that too. <laughs> hey, Skullpel. Wow. 35 stream streak. Nice. Ooh, that's every stream ever. I think that's not far off. I haven't counted exactly how many we've done, but that's quite a lot. Uh, Leo said, and the fact that they that when they go into their shells, it isn't a small little house they live in. Yeah, I know. Nature is so boring. 
Why can't that can it be like a little house that they could decorate and furnish? That'd be cute. Uh, at least the the holes that Torte is a uh, dig. Many animals use those holes, especially when there is a fire. They will happily jump it with the tortoise. <laughs> can gain. He gets he gets from friends. Yeah. And they are not that scared when you catch them, the wild ones. Uh, we have opportunity two times to. They would be passing next to our house, and we're like, oh, we put it. Uh, with us in the in the yard and we start feeding it uh, watermelon mm -hmm. uh, rain worms stuff like that yeah. it, it's gonna eat it's not like oh i'm scared <laughs> oh, <food. laughs> and then later we release it i suppose realistically what can they do <laughs> like they're not they're not quick enough to escape and you know they start scratching if you put them in a big plastic <clears throat> what's called when you bath kids in big plastic thing. Oh, a tub? Like a bathtub? A tub, yeah. When you put them in a tub, they can start scratching trying to get out. Like mine would when I am, I need to bath mine every... Mm. Almost every day it needs bath so it can go to the toilet. Mm. And then it starts scratching to go outside. I'm like, you wanted this and now you want to go. <laughs> <laughs> I love the videos where people have like a toothbrush. And they hold the toothbrush yeah. on its back and it just st like wiggles to scratch its back. It's so cute. Mine mine doesn't do that. I don't know how to make it. <laughs> so adorable. I would like that Mike enjoy it. Also, they got smell. If you're ever thinking of getting them, like many animals, they got smell. Yeah, I mean, you have to try hard to find a pet that doesn't have some kind of smell. Mm. Even dogs and cats do. Uh, they are tolerable. Tolerable. <laughs> tolerable, yeah. Well, <laughs> say it again. Tolerable. Okay. <laughs> Can I use any more photos? Um, oh, what if I put some of these somewhere? Yeah. They remind me of the um they remind me of the lightning field in Breath of the Wild. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That must be what they were based off of. It has to be. The other day uh it's too much. The other day I did put um screenshot. I took screenshots from that field. Now it's not lightning, at least when I was flying over it. Mm. But it's really nice looking. Yeah. Uh, if we have a time, we would include all of this into the background somewhere. You could probably put some of the more like, uh, I don't know what I can't remember what it's called. Some of the more algae-looking stuff on it instead. Ah, uh... uh, yeah, it can be on the surface. Yeah, true, mm -hmm. like this. Yeah, that stuff. Yeah, I don't know what it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it's actually called. I forget. Uh, lichen, lichen. Oh, like oh, lichen. I think. It... In... Lichen is the verbal thing. Yeah, but I think it's pronounced the same. Okay. Uh, it's not. One is like y, um, y lichen, and mm. other is. Li I cannot spell in English. <laughs> yeah, lichen as in a werewolf is L Y, uh, L Y, C H. Wait, is it L? Does it have H? No, that's a place in Germany. Never mind. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember. But yeah, it's pronounced the same. Okay. Just to make life a little bit more difficult for everybody. Uh, Leo says, my dog's smell was, in fact, not tolerable. <laughs> yeah, some dogs that have thick coat. Or live outside mostly. Yeah. Bearable. Yeah. Oh, there it is. L Y C A N. That's the werewolf lichen. Mm -hmm. Whereas the, tr the, the tree one is L I C H E N. 
-hmm. yeah thank you i had a bit of like a brain like i had a bit of a brain fart there where i just couldn't spell i was looking at it in google and i was like i don't understand how this doesn't work <laughs> so thank you <gasps> slug a snail <laughs> yes, yeah, snails and slugs really like eating mushrooms. And then when you're about to pick one, and then you see, oh, it's all eaten up. Also the the worms. Yeah. But what we need to do is make some bites. Oh, wait. Nah, the tortoise, the, the the tortoise would eat the would eat the worms for sure. Uh, it cannot, yeah. You know what I think I told already? My tortoise uh, would also, I'm like, what do you want to eat? At some period it wouldn't eat anything. I gave it supplements, I gave it light. I bought it, I, I would pick the plants it's supposed to eat. It wouldn't eat anything. I'm like, do you want rainworms? It doesn't want rainworms. Do you want um, these, not slugs, what you said, snails? Yeah. He doesn't want snails. I'm like, here, here go, you're free, go to garden, eat whatever. He started eating um, bones that my dog left, uh, that are like rotting bones, and it started eating feathers from the chickens. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you're a g g garbage collector, I see. <laughs> I am buying this expensive stuff so you can be healthy and you're eating whatever. <laughs> When, when I was at university, I remember there was a guy in the flat below me who had a a pet crab. No, mm -hmm. was it below me? Uh, he either lived below me or above me. Either way, it doesn't matter. He had a pet crab. What kind of crab? Um, I can't remember. That I don't know different types of crabs. It was just a crab, and um, he would. Uh, he would just any time that he had vegetables or anything that was going out of date and was starting to go bad he would just give it to the mm -hmm. crab and the crab would just be like oh yeah yum nice i'll have this yeah they're cleaners <laughs> yeah but the crab was so dumb like you'd put it in there and he wouldn't eat it unless you picked him up and put it like and put him like basically on top of it and then the crab would be like oh food uh... nice <laughs> Yeah, what's funny to me is watching the people who hunt lobsters mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, this is a girl, she got an egg, let's put her back and then they take one fish, put, put it put in the claw, and she, yeah. Yeah, and she's like, okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I noticed that, it's funny. And I was watching the videos of a guy who both... Um, lobster from a restaurant mm -hmm. and he started uh started him as a pet yeah and lobster uh he needed a bigger tank okay here's bigger tank and then he changed his skin mm -hmm. not the skin the, um, the shell the shell mm -hmm. and uh, the lobster is doing fine yeah yeah because when they're in like the supermarkets or in the restaurants they put elastic bands around the claws right to stop mm -hmm. them from pinching and it can it really messes up their uh it, it really messes them up quite badly so i i i'm scared of anything anthropod or how you say it anything that's with the scorpion spiders mm -hmm. yeah with like an bigger. exoskeleton I would catch the crayfish, mm -hmm. but I, I don't like holding them with hands. Yeah, I don't either. I just don't, I don't like the, I don't know, man. With crabs and lobsters and stuff, I just don't like their mouth. Their whole mouth is really gross and weird. It's like, they have like a bunch of little arms there and they, yeah, yeah it's yeah. just nasty. But you know what? They also come from eggs. So if you want to create yeah. a little creature hatching from the... Yeah. Again, what's, what's the name of the group? The, oh, English? the uh, arthro arthropods? Uh, okay. You can draw them too. Yeah. 
Yeah, you if could. You, if you want to. Yeah. Yeah, because butterflies are, are technically arthropods as well. Really? Uh, are, they are insects. Yeah, but it's yeah, but an arthropod is like any. I think an arthropod is like any animal that has an exoskeleton. What then the name of the group for the just those with eight legs, the scorpions, the spiders, and those crabs? Uh, let me Google it. It's not important. I was just oh, it's, okay. So they are so. They're arachnids. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, one, that yeah. One. I knew arachnids, but I didn't think that crabs count counted. Uh, not all the crabs. So many species uh, evolved to be crab, but they are not from the same thing. No, oh, okay. Yeah. I've seen that YouTube video that's like, mm -hmm. everything is evolving into crabs constantly. <laughs> like, <laughs> the crab is the ultimate life form at this point. <laughs> I follow some group, it's called something, uh, worshipping our savior, uh, Le Leviathan. It's mm -hmm. something about lo lobster, worshipping lobster, yeah. it's a meme group. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think, I think when I was watching that video, they were like, yeah, lobsters are interesting because they're just something, they're just like a creature that has half evolved into a crab and it's just kind of stopped like they just don't uh they are like we are going to grow 30 feet lobster because they usually die because they cannot change successfully yeah. their shell yeah and they're like plants oh, what's called the group plants to something to put our lobster overlord rules so something like that it's called the yeah group. I like finding weird Facebook groups. <laughs> they got the best memes. I was gonna say, like the one you, you sent me the other day. <laughs> it was like I forgot what was it, something disturbing probably. It, it was uh it was full of a took posting. Oh it, yeah 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 yeah. But it was like a See? it's how you get fired. It was like a Twilight thing. <laughs> they were obsessed with worms. <laughs> I still didn't realize what was it about where the meme started. I have no idea. I was searching for it. But that's if you want to get fired, you start sending your colleagues stuff like that and they bring it out on stream. <laughs> I don't think you're going to get fired for sending me a meme. <laughs> it was weird meme. Okay, what do you think, Jaden? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I think is it's cool. maybe enough creature? It's yeah. it's not what what Steam asked for. Steam for today was to draw like a hatchling from the egg. Uh, and that would be again with this, but it was way too simple what I had in mind. Yeah. So I'm like, you know what? I want to draw tortoise. It's cute. I'll let you. I'll let you off. It's cute. It's okay. it's. And then, fine. if you got this pet. You can always harvest uh, again and again. Yeah, it's true. Free mushrooms. Mm -hmm. um, so Jaden's dream is to kiss a Paris. Best of both worlds. No, gross. No, thanks. Is what? what? There's like a Pokemon called Paris, which is mm -hmm. like a... That's, all, that's also like a mushroom crab thing. Uh, oh, I know. The red one with the two mushrooms. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, yeah, it's if it's like, first generation, I know how it looks at least, not the name. It has like little pincy first mouth. And second. It's like gross. It has really big eyes okay. though, so it's kind of cute. Yeah, I need to make progress shots. Like this. This is just a copy, we don't need this. This is, we're gonna hide this one too. Okay, put on multiply, lower down opacity. Uh, yeah. Mark this layer so we don't merge it, and then I'm gonna select everything. This is boring part <laughs> to make flat. Yeah, it'd be nice if there was a. It'd be nice if there was an easier way to do this. Some people, uh, th there was a script, but then again, you have to have cleaner lines. Yeah. 
sometimes I get it that people did it. Uh, so you select outside, mm -hmm. inverted, and then fill in. But then it's gonna catch all of these all as that, yeah. uh, weird hairs. I'm like, oh, no, I have to fix it. It's more me. It's more that I'm bothered with imperfect selections. Mm -hmm. I have different uh, satisfactory level. Oh, this is good enough selection. This is awful. This is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> so that's me thing. Many people don't even need selection. They work all on one layer. Yeah. Crazy people. Ignacio says this looks kind of like an ar an archival sketch of, of a Bulbasaur. Uh, yeah, I guess so. It need more vines and stuff, but yeah. This can be pre prehistoric Bulbasaur, oh, not Bulbasaur, the other one, Squirtle. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a Valis sketch. Oh, okay, sorry. I misread. Arvalis, it's an artist. Oh. Arvalis, yeah, Arvalis. I call him Arvalis, how you said? Well, I, I misread it, is my problem. Yeah, yeah the yeah, I've seen the one uh that they did I think it was a gap uh a Garchomp. Yeah, like a monster hunter Garchomp. That thing was awesome. About the mushrooms, my father really, really likes e uh, going to forest, picking them and eating. That's why we learned. And um, what's enough is just a few ones. You need to be really sure which one you can eat. And if you're not sure, don't pick it. Yeah. It's not worth the risk because if sometimes the season is great. There are many growing, like in the Moomins. They had a year uh, with a lot of mushrooms and everything they could eat a bunch uh, i'm like sometimes it would happen that you have a lot but sometimes it would be either too warm and without the rain or too cold mm -hmm. and they won't grow yeah yeah it needs to be quite a specific quite a specific uh, climate for them to grow in right yeah, depending which one you want so where i live now it's much lower in attitude mm -hmm. Altitude, altitude. Yeah. <laughs> um, and there is no no diversity as it was back home. There were there are some, uh, and not um, not that many. And also some that I first time saw. I never saw them, so I'm not sure. I won't touch mm -hmm. them. Yeah. But sometimes you would have a really big tub full of mushrooms. You come home, all right, I cannot eat all of this. Let's look for the pickling recipe. <laughs> Pickled mushrooms. Yeah, they're really tasty. Like you have ch ch champignons uh, mm -hmm. pickled uh, in a store, really tasty. Do they not stay all like rubbery though and weird? I like when they're rubbery and crunchy. That's weird. That's okay. nasty. You like pickles, at least? Yeah, I like pickles, yeah. But you don't like okay. Well, it's more just the thought of pickled mushrooms grosses me out a little bit. Uh, Zerian asked, did, <laughs> did Melissa ever get chased by a wild animal? Have you ever been chased by a wild animal, Melissa? Uh, I'm not sure about wild one, more domestic animals. Mm -hmm. I've been chased by domestic animals. Wild ones, I'm not sure. No, I don't think it. So you can get chased by domestic but feral dogs. I got chased by goose. I got chased by cow, by ram. Uh, <laughs> what else? Oh, the rooster, I hate roosters. <laughs> <laughs> roosters. Yeah, they're really bloodthirsty. Yeah, I've heard I've heard that before. Uh, so every rooster we had wanted to fight us, and <laughs> they see who is a, a girl who is not uh, who don't want to fight, who will scare. Uh, 
they also attack other animals. Like if they think the dog attacks their girl, mm. they're gonna attack the dog. And that's how my do- uh, my dog, when he was puppy, almost died. I tried <laughs> fending off the chickens and rooster from him. I couldn't. And then my other dog got loose. She was um, chained over the day mm-hmm. just because of that. She got loose and she uh, deal with those chickens in a second. Man. I was gonna say like my my friend has chickens and like the, their biggest issue is their fox because their dog won't touch mm-hmm. them like yeah the dog doesn't doesn't really care enough but yeah they get foxes sometimes they will just come in and and so uh, you need to have a fence a dog and over the night you need to uh close your chickens into yeah. the safe space or yeah, they, they usually they, they won't attack yeah yeah they do mostly i think it's just a couple times they've uh they've forgotten to like close the door to their hutch or whatever it is and uh mm-hmm. yeah the fox was like ooh a buffet <laughs> yeah, the fox will come in and take everything one by one exactly. at the night. We take all of the chickens. Yeah. Uh, th- there was a few times I was the last one to fall asleep. I had my uh, window open. I turn off the light, and sometimes it takes me way too long to fall asleep. Mm-hmm. So once I was laying, I just hear something. I hear it again. It chickens. <laughs> Okay, fast alarm everyone in the house and we are jumping. <laughs> now you got the dew on the grass. Yeah. And 1 p.m. we are running through our uh, garden <laughs> trying to find the alive chicken and to put them back in the coop. <laughs> Man. I would be more upset at foxes, but they're really cute, so I can't be. Yeah, they are. And they also are helping a lot with the rodent situation in the fields. We have a really big problem at this region. The whole region has a lot of rodents in the field now. Nobody knows what to do. They are trying to poison them, but then you also can poison other yeah. useful animals. Yeah. Yeah, that's tough okay, to I have about an hour to try to add some colors to this. Yeah. Uh, Mist said chickens are just tiny velociraptors. Yeah, it's true. So yeah, if they are older, if they are all the time outside, uh, almost in the wild, not really, they are protected, but they are outside. Uh, they're gonna learn how to kill and eat snake, how to find a bug, how to attack you. Mm. They're gonna be... Uh, oh, the chickens, when they about to become mothers, are the angriest creatures ever. <laughs> uh, they're gonna poke you a lot. Then the yeah. rooster, the more territory he got and the more threats, the more his bloodlust yeah. will last. Uh, Tears Zion, since this is, since this, blah, blah, blah. since at this stage the drawing is close to the question I tried to ask last stream, going to attempt again. Oh, sorry, I didn't see your, I must not have seen your question last stream. Or I don't remember it, I'm okay. sorry. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, ask away. I'm just trying to block out a bit of shadows and stuff. Oh, sure. maybe my background should be darker for now. Uh, so I have a bit of neutral background. Mm-hmm. And then later we can get rid of it. Yeah. Oh, my, you're giving him a mustache. What mustache? The two lines you just did either side of his nose, like the dark lines looked like a little mustache. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that's me being stupid. <laughs> I 
Nobody get masters until I see the the dwarves. Girl with masters, nobody getting masters. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, you disappeared. Really? Yeah. Can you hear me? It's okay. You're back. I will drink water then. Yeah. Boop. And boop. There we go. I have over uh, shown the nose. It looks like pig nose now. I think it, it works though. It looks very cute. It fits with the theme. <laughs> He's like a baby, a baby battle tortoise. I can imagine having like little forest fairies or whatever set up with bows on the mushrooms and stuff, oh, right, yeah. riding him into battle. <laughs> Uh, my friend also did draw recently creature. It's like um, it's a tortoise. It's a big creature, big mount, but it got uh, got mushrooms on the back. Mm. She better be watching. <laughs> if they are, then they need to say hi. I think she messaged me earlier. Maybe she's not watching. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I remember your uh, your question from last time. Um, so, Tia Zion says, Melissa is using uh, a, a sketch to design a character. Do you know the pipeline where you don't use sketches or line art, but rather a silhouette of the character and then fill the inside of it? I um, mean... I don't use it, I know of it, but I'm not the right person to ask. Yeah, I don't know if many of... Because their, their question is, is it, is it too complicated of a pipeline to master? And I think it's, yeah, it's a preference thing. And I also don't think many of our artists that I've seen have really do that sort of thing. I think different way. I, I think what I want to draw, then I add it, and then I stylize it. But that would be from the big shape, making mm -hmm. smaller ones, carving them inside, and finding your character. Mm -hmm. uh, it would be like uh, marble sculptors going from outside to inside. Yeah. Rather yeah. than what I do now. So I'm not the right person to ask for it. It can be done. Yeah. Uh, but I usually don't do it. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you turn on the turn off the lines, this would be our shape. Yeah. I guess. It's a bit too complicated because I wanted to show all these mushrooms. Mm -hmm. So I didn't try to look a bit simple. I wanted to look organics. Yeah. I suppose if you know what shape you want to have for your character, then. Yeah. Then it. it I guess it can work, but if you're doing idea uh, many people are, are Many people are doing when they want to produce a lot of um, ideas and it's faster. So, oh, I, maybe I like this shape when you mm -hmm. don't know what you specifically want. Or maybe I like this one. And then you can give to your art director to pick some. Mm. Uh, but that's not the way I like to work. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, Le Leoni, um, Leoni knows more about it. He sometimes would do those shape practices. Remember? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that is true. Uh, I think, I think when when it was asked last time, I don't think, I don't think we uh, we quite understood the question. But yeah, that would be one for Leoni. If he's still in the chat, then. Then it would be great to to get an answer from you, Leone. But if he's not here, then uh, obviously we won't. Uh, Mist uh, says, "I think blocking in colors versus using lines is a matter of preference." Yeah, realistically, uh, Theo says, "I haven't really tried it before. Usually going the path Melissa is doing." Yeah, I don't think there's. Mm, I can't imagine there's much of a reason why you would need to do it the other way. I think, as you said before, it's just a preference thing. 
Um, Rayonstorm says, oh, great name, by the way. Uh, I believe that the pipeline of drawing within a silhouette is interesting when working with silhouettes as a priority. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I don't know, yeah, I think at the end of the day it does just come down to personal preference, really. And also, probably on whatever your client has asked you to do if you're working for a client. Uh, I used it to shorten the time it takes to design characters at the beginning, it just prolonged the work. But after some time, it actually started working. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I mean, if it ends up speeding up your workflow, then then why not? I get the feeling that it. it takes a bit more forethought to do silhouettes first, though, and not do any line art or anything. Well, are you going to do them in T-poses? Because mm. it's usually sometimes you want to draw from three quarters and then trying to find characters in a bit of perspective from the side. Yeah. Or it's more challenging if you are already not thinking in that way. Yeah. Look, Day, then would you adopt this Pokemon? I would, I would adopt that Pokemon, yeah. I would give that it Pokemon counts. two pounds a month so that I could give it food and get a plushie. Do you have that in Serbia where you get like, um, yep. you get like wildlife organizations putting adverts on TV and it's like, this donkey has been mistreated and is forced to carry 500 tons of bricks every day if you donate two pounds a month then you can get a plushy donkey and give money towards this donkey's welfare no i'm gonna tell you something said now uh <laughs> we got those commercials for the sick kids because yeah, there well, yeah is we no get those too yeah so yeah. We, we do send SMS uh, for the sick kids. Yeah, yeah, we get that too, but we also get it for animals like the donkeys and tigers and like endangered species. Well, I can tell you exact sentence that you're gonna hear from somebody like uh, older generations. They're gonna eat it. <laughs> <laughs> what the best can do is pay for shipping. <laughs> Should I go with white mushrooms or these are really nice but the reference is a bit different. Mm. The pink ones. This is really pink. Uh Jaden Zell says, are you using references when deciding the shadow temperature as well? Or are you not? Uh for for this for me temperature is always like oh this was warmer, warmer, I mean, more saturated and more towards the red because I like this one. Uh, but now I'm looking what what should be nice to put for the colors of the mushrooms. Let's try this. Mm. Let's see how it fits. Like a nice... Uh, like a nice pink. Could work maybe. Yeah. Melissa, you should make an evolved version of this Pokemon next stream. Oh man. The evolution More of fungus? these Pokemon. It would be it would be absolutely covered in fungus. I keep seeing on uh I keep seeing on the internet recently, I'm getting more and more videos of that zombie fungus coming up. Which one? The one, the one that, uh, it, it only affects like animals, like bugs and insects and oh, stuff, yeah. but it like hijacks their brain. <laughs> mm -hmm. I saw one on a spider and it was so 
gross and so creepy. It had like taken over this like whole spider's body. Mm-hmm. Like it had grown to just cover this spider, and it was like crawling up this wall really grossly. It, bleh, bleh, it was horrible. Yeah, cordyceps. Up. That's the one. I'm watching a Potokari Diaries anime, and I think uh, she's really motivated by uh, her getting rare ingredients. Uh, it's like um, old uh, Chinese kingdom, so mm. she's a Potokari, and she's motivated by poisons and re- uh, rare ingredients, and one of the gifts for her, I think it was that of a fungus from insect, and she was salivating, she's like, should I eat it? Should I make a cream? What should I do? <laughs> <laughs> you. In the previous episode, uh, I I won't try to spoil anything, but the prize was a cow, gallbladder, um, stone. She's like, can I have it now? Can I have it now? <laughs> no. I just looked it up, and apparently, that mushroom has really good health benefits for for humans if they eat it she i don't agree she, i think she was right i think it's uh i think that's a lie by big mushrooms to try and get it's us all to armor. become to become zombies this big mushroom is lying to us <laughs> okay <laughs> um Leo says, I saw a video of a frog that has a little mushroom growing on its butt. Aww. Poor little, poor little dude. <laughs> oh, Zarian asked what anime it was that you watched. Apothecary Diaries. Apothecary. Kusurias, um, I forgot the Japanese name. It's like a bit of, um, Bit of slice of like life romance, uh, bit of investigation. Uh, okay. Oh, apothecary diaries. Okay, I got confused. What I said. I don't know. I heard. I heard. I don't know what I heard. Apotheki, apotheki, apothecary. It's really nicely drawn. Every episode starts with some uh, plants that are really really detailed uh, drawn to be just the beginning shot and that's all mm. oh yeah, i'm looking at I'm looking at pictures now actually i think someone yeah someone recommended this to me on discord the other day maybe me it might have been you yeah to be honest it could have been you <laughs> <laughs> I'm boring people with it <laughs> I get, hey, I get so many recommendations. Watching it. I get so many recommendations that I forget who they're from and I just remember them when I see them. <laughs> oh, Jaden, this is going somewhere. It is. It's looking good. I'm going to be honest, though. I'm really, uh, I'm really looking forward to that snail. <laughs> what color you want your snail? Rainbow. No, no. <laughs> Do you know those people who would uh, take uh, big snails, like garden snails, and mm. make the graffiti on their yeah. houses? Yeah. When when I was at university, and me and my friends, I was telling this story in Discord like last week or something. But me and my friends, in all of our games that we made, we were putting in this thing that we called a time snail and it was just a snail that had a rainbow shell and it was on a skateboard and it would just make appearances in in the games that we made and i i can't even remember what the origin was but it we just found it hilarious the fact that we had this character in all of our games called the time snail that would travel through time on his magical skateboard (laughs) it's so stupid it would always just be like a little character in the background. Like he never did anything. He would just be sat there on his little skateboard somewhere. It was really stupid. Um, Jaden, why didn't you tell me how much viewers we see I Frozen now? Well, that's why I didn't tell you. Because 
Okay, mm. let me. I also forget to share you on Instagram. I should do that. The Christina did tag me in a post, and then the story will get refreshed. Just a second. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not professional. So, Liz is doing her admin right now. That's uh, the post on story, okay? Um, Elvira says Apothecary Diaries is really fun. Um, I recommend it too, so plus one. Okay, okay. Uh, Gulimo says, uh, I like Apothecary Diaries a lot too. Nice. Zerian says, oh, it's one of the new ones. Mijo Palace, that sounds awesome. I, I don't know if you're talking about Apothecary Diaries or the idea of a time snail, but, you know, I'm going to assume that it's the time snail. You know who I need to hear that it's good? Um, Alex Pashenko, because mm -hmm. he hates a lot of stuff that Katie Lewis and me likes. <laughs> so if he says it's good, then I'm going to believe it's universally good. Were you there? I can't remember. Were you there in the in the restaurant? When we went to yeah, London, yeah, yeah. yeah, and they were all just sat there talking about anime, and I was like, I have no mm -hmm. idea what's going on right now. <laughs> For whatever three of us uh, were uh, talking about liking it, he's like, it's awful. <laughs> <I don't> like... <laughs> yeah, I remember I had I had you guys talking about anime on one side, and then I had. Might be like Emra and Yoris, I think, on the other side, talking about I don't know businessy things. So I was like sat in the middle, like I don't know which I'm like a part of neither of these conversations. <laughs> well, pick a final conversation. That's us. <laughs> yeah. Just come in. I'll just be like, yeah, anime. Am I right, guys? <laughs> Uh, it wasn't just that, it was uh, everyone, no, well, I didn't play at that time, but two of them talking about Asterion, oh, and then yeah. you hating him. Oh yeah, that was that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can hear uh, the excitement in your voice. It gets brought up every time. And then I get, I, then I get harsh accusations thrown at me. The Asterion you fans get uh, really upset. Uh, Nana, uh, he also don't like him. Yeah. I'm like, don't, don't kill him. He's like, fine, but I, I don't want to car uh, carry him on the missions. Yeah. Bring him on the missions. Yeah. Like, at some point, I'll probably keep him in my party for longer than five minutes, but it's not going to be anytime soon. <laughs> Uh, oh, I like the gradient. It's not noticeable mm. in the values, but in colors it is. Yeah, that's nice. Miss said, okay guys, you're a super intelligent snail. You both get one million dollars and you both become immortal. However you die, oh, however, you die if the snail touches you. It always knows where you are and slowly crawls towards you. What's the plan? I put it in a box. Salt! I put salt. I, I sleep in salt. It's it's uh, immortal though. Who? Oh we wait. Oh wait. Yeah, we're immortal. So the snail isn't. Yeah, that's a good point. I just step on it. Salt. I gonna be as a ham swimming in salt. It cannot touch you then. I'm gonna just. I'm just gonna step on it. I'm gonna crush it with the boot. Because then it, I, I'm not. I'm not touching it technically. Hire snail hitmen. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's what oh, we like. oh, both you and the snail are important, and it has decoy snails. Well, now you're writing in. Now you're changing the rules. Is that me still? Yeah. You can't change the rules. It can't have decoy snails. You said that. You said that we each have a snail. Maybe. I have. I have okay, altered I'm the rules. It. Pray I do not alter them further. Okay. Well, that just I means I have to understand uh, anything. I'm just going to put it in a box. Every snail I see that is slowly crawling towards me, I'm going to trap it in a box and then bury it like 12 meters under the ground. The other day I was preparing, uh, I think you would call it uh, the board with the cheeses and uh, dry meats. Yeah, I was preparing something like board. that. And for decoration, I would. I put green salad, that's all um, nice looking one. Uh, 
that looks like fancy. Uh, and I start putting everything and I see, oh, the small snail somehow uh, left after the washing. So I'm also <laughs> serving the snail now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Gross. You can eat those. Yeah, but yeah, but I wouldn't want to. Uh, uh, again, where I'm coming from, um, I wasn't born. The 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 snails, uh, they were almost extinct because uh, there was a price for them, like for the mushrooms. You bring mm -hmm. us uh, 10 kilo of these, you get this amount of money. Mm -hmm. So everyone was so motivated to sell them. And then they have, okay, banned. We have to ban <laughs> this. We are out of snails. <laughs> But you can earn a lot of money for chanterelles, of course for, oh, how you say, the truffles, but those are hard to find. Uh, for chanterelles, for these ones, these are uh, really good, you need to slice them thin, to dry them, and then you sell them dry per kilo, mm -hmm. really nice price for those. Uh, um, those people, those are uh, made into the, in the object, the, mm -hmm. in the facility, so you sell them as any food. Uh, I, I like I like those with the meat and some not this one but the turkey uh, turkey tail uh, the lion mane and the uh, oak shiny one I, I don't know I'm translating this all literally <laughs> I'm not sure if this is called also in English I have no idea. Uh, they have medicinal properties so people will pay a lot of money for just a few of these mm. They're still talking yeah, about those, those are snails. quality ones. Mm? They're still talking about those snails in chat. I'm just reading. They're talking about snails. So like, the snails. The snail also has a a good twin brother who is also immortal. That if it touches you, you feel really good about yourself. You know what, Mist? I will just die. Are you happy now? Mist says one snail only lies. The other snail only tells the truth. Yeah, but then that's easy because you just have to ask which one of them is the liar, and then you figure it out. It's it's. I've seen I've seen. Uh, is it in um, labyrinth where there's the two doors? That's like one of us tells lies, the other one tells the truth, and then you just ask who the liar is, and then, yeah. Uh. Put it on a hamster wheel so it keeps walking but never gets anywhere. An omnidirectional snail treadmill. Or put it in a hamster ball so you guys can still hang out and you can keep an eye on it. <laughs> no, if you put it in a hamster ball, then it's just going to keep like... Have you ever had a hamster where it just the ball just keeps running into your leg or something? That will be the same with the snail because it's just trying to like touch you the whole time. Something similar was in Samurai Jack too. Uh, okay. M Mift said, uh, Mist said, Melissa, that that's like saying, what's your zombie apocalypse plan? And you say, I'd get eaten by zombies. No, no, no. Uh, my problem is with your rules and adding more lore and I, I would just die out of boredom listening to all of these. It's not the fight, the problem. It's adding <laughs> rules more and more. <laughs> yeah, at least zombies, you know what you're getting for the most part. They're either slow or they're fast. And that's I don't have to options. learn the family tree of zombies as I have for that snail. <laughs> <laughs> but lore is fun. Yeah, See, lore is they... fun, but... For the f colors, it so happened that it looks like a penny ban for cine how you how you read any of these? Those are English. Uh, let me remove my camera. Hold on. Oh, penny bun. Is it familiar to you? Nope. Okay. I don't know anything about mushrooms. But it's it's this kind of c color that I put for. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Now. This one is like spongy. I, I don't like those because they're too spongy when you eat them too soft. I like when they're gummy. The okay. Yeah. The, the 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 chat bot 
blocked the term you snail as bullying and abuse. So I had to... <laughs> what if, what if Mossbag was telling you snail law? Well... I would listen to Mossbag anytime, whatever yeah. lore he said. Yeah. Are you at least Mist the Mossbag? I, no. I guess so. I guess in this situation, Mist is Mossbag. It looks like a strawberry sponge cake now. Oh, it kind of does. It looks like a nice strawberry cake. Mm, bit dirty is to pick for the reference. Uh, oh yeah, Elvira. Yeah, the the reference board is on. Uh, is in the the streaming channel on Discord. Thank you, Mist. Uh, see, I'm not the only one that killed Asterion. Elvira did too. He's just not a very likable guy. It's not my fault. I'm still playing Zelda. Because you need le less time for Zelda. <laughs> I never finished Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, I don't want to finish it because... Okay, now let's do Underworld. All lights are on. Let's finish the shrine. Okay, now the caves. I need to collect the rest of the armor I want. Okay, and now I need to update it. And then I would find a small quest. I won't do quests now uh, until I do this or that. And there is always something to do there. So I'm like, let's leave it. My problem is... When I get to update all the armors I want, the game is done and I don't get to enjoy them. Yeah. I think when I stopped playing, I was at the point of upgrading the armor that I wanted and the dragon things weren't dropping the materials that I needed. Or the one time it did drop it, it then rolled off a cliff and fell into some, like, <laughs> fell into what some... What do you mean dropping? You didn't hit it the mouth? Yeah. Yeah, that's a problem. You need to exactly look for the mouth. Yeah. Or it gives you scale. And and then I, it didn't drop it after I killed it. And then I went, well, I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> I didn't stop playing it. Oh, I have a problem where I cannot collect the tails of the lizard, lizard folk. Uh, oh, the yeah. The previous game, it was like one to one. Yeah. Every time you would get. Now, nothing. And I'm scum, save, save scumming, how you say? Uh, I'm doing that. Okay, will you give me a tail? And the other day, two, well, there were two, both gave me a tail. I'm like, amazing. <laughs> then you kill 15, nothing. Nothing, yeah, I know. Um, it's, I think it's the only Zelda game that I've, uh, I've picked up and not finished. You still have time. Yeah, but I don't really want to. <laughs> I love Zelda. It's my like favorite series, but Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom just aren't aren't so doing the it. The only for ones me. I played. <laughs> bad, bad. It's not bad. It's called poor, Titan. Yeah, you can emulate them, and that's free. Well, now. Yeah. When I was a kid, I couldn't. Yeah. Uh, let's see. He's not a nice guy, and you could fix it, but you could fix him. Yeah, I didn't have the patience for that. I didn't have the patience for that. When one hour into the game, he tries to murder me, I don't have the patience for that. Um, no, you didn't like his attitude, I admit it. Well, that too. Yeah, I mean, that's part of it. His attitude was to kill me, and I didn't like it. No, he didn't want to kill you, he just wanted to taste <laughs> sure he didn't even ask if he would have asked it would have made a whole world of difference but he didn't uh Jaden not beating the hater of everything Melissa likes allegations <laughs> yeah we do it to each other 
she hates everything I like. I hate everything she likes. It's kind of a mutual agreement. <laughs> it's a mutual feeling that we have. <laughs> Yeah, but this way we don't have to bicker if we like the same thing and we, we both want the same thing. At least we won't fight over that. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, hello, Dan does drawings. Nice to see you. Uh, Tia Zion uh, says, I know it's by the, uh, the portfolio that Melissa really likes lizards and all other cold blooded creatures. Uh, how do you grow up? to like them more than other creatures from the real world. Oh. I don't know. I, I, I like lizards. Yeah. Uh, for example, my mother hates and father lizards and uh, snakes. Mm -hmm. So it was really fun bringing small snake into bottle in front of the house. Maybe that's why. <laughs> can you see the yesterday? Oh. Uh, I don't know. Can you see it? Uh, kind of, slightly. Ah, uh, it's too... Yeah, you can kind of see it. Yesterday I found the first lizard of the year after the winter. It was basking outside. Incredible. Yes. I like... I, 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 mm. oh, no, I was going to say, I like lizards. Uh, mm -hmm. I think they're really cute. And like reptiles. I think they're adorable. I just love... The, I think one of the reasons why I love them so much is because they all just look like they have no idea what's going on. Like they you, don't. you look at a turtle or a tortoise, and like look at his little face. He's just got no thoughts going on in there. He just has not. <laughs> I realize that I'm like this is not like a having a dog or a cat. It's empty. <laughs> yeah, it this... looks like it's suffering. <laughs> yeah. This thing is an idiot. <laughs> I, I feel bad sometimes. I'm like, should I keep it here? If I put it outside, it's gonna be even worse. It yeah. didn't learn how to be outside. What should <laughs> I do? Yeah. Uh, Mist said that, that he likes lizards because he's secretly a reptilian who controls the world. You know, I kind of... You know, I can see it. I can picture it. Especially with, like, you know, you keep changing the rules of, of how this snail thing works, so... He never show us the face, so we that can see true. how he blinks. Yeah, that's a really good point. That's how you can tell if someone's a reptile person because they they blink different. Those are facts. <laughs> yeah. I'm also not going against that. Jaden needs to start a conspiracy podcast um, requests either. <laughs> I'm just kind of diving into it now. Um, we need to warm it up so it's too cold for my blood. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you did global warming too. Damn it, Mist. Come on, man. I'll show up wearing good omen sunglasses. Yeah. I have half an hour more. Oh, there no. is no way to finish this. But my, I will just keep adding shadows then. My camera is my camera died. Let me let me swap over to my other camera. Okay. I think the uh it's not a good look. The um battery must have died. <laughs> Uh, where's the other camera gun? Oh, your boss, that's really weird. Huh? Saying something. But the way you froze. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was not a good look. Ah, uh, that's why you say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. Yes. Um. <laughs> Yeah.
Oh, the other cameras. Yeah, should we talk, Jade, and then the people not think we are uh, not here? Yeah, I was uh -huh. like, I was like trying to sort out the other camera, but it's. Uh, Let me see if we have questions. It's being weird. I, no, I'm just read the last message. There is no question. Yeah. Uh, actually, if you really want to ask some question, if you have something about the competition, mm. or you want to know something personal about Jay, then uh, go ahead. <laughs> something personal about me? Yeah. If you want to know all my all my secrets? Then yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I approve of all these questions. <laughs> Are you a reptile, Jaden? Um, I'm not gonna deny it, but I'm also I'm also not gonna agree with it. You know, that's a very that's a, that's that question is way too personal, Mist. Come on. You can ask him that if he's single, maybe he will answer that one faster than if is is he a reptile. <laughs> it's also personal. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Jaden. He does have a really straight posture. Oh yeah. But again, I'm not sure was he blinking though. Well, who's to say? Maybe I was hypnotized. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Mist redeemed the posture check. Thank you, Mist, so much for that. <laughs> and Jaden is not showing his camera yet, no? Yeah, I will do it, but. Thank you. Thing is, my uh, it's being a bit of a it's being a bit of a nightmare. Uh, <laughs> Jacques. Uh, so is Jaden single? I mean, I am, but um, I, Jaden is multiple. I am. I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am. Uh, I am a hive mind. Yeah, we are. We are single. I know a great guy for you. His name is Mark. Oh, oh yeah, I know Mark. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Me and, me and Mark go way back. Mark is the scammer that um, that Mist was was playing along with. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was there. Yeah, yeah. Um. Now, Jaden has to be single because nobody would tolerate uh, all of us artists messaging him all the time. Like, I would message him at 2 am with something stupid, and how do you explain that to anyone? <laughs> Yeah, we said we're gonna put the lichen on the tortoise. Should I do that now? You can do. I actually, I said like on timing. Um, but I don't have space for werewolves here. Womp womp. That was bad. This werewolf thing. Uh, did you watch Underworld? Hmm. I watched. I think I watched one of the Underworld movies. I like Underworld. I remember. I remember watching one of them and being like, "This is garbage." I love it. <laughs> it was so bad. I don't care. <laughs> you know, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Molting, yeah. He's molting too. What? What? What do you mean? Like a snake or lizard molting. Oh, right. Yeah, that's true. I forgot I was a... I nearly forgot I was a lizard person for a second. That's how good know. he's acting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't like this. This needs to be gradient more. I'm a method actor, yeah, exactly. Jaden woke up and chose violence today. He hates everything. That's not true. I don't hate everything. Where was it? Uh, 
there there was some, someone pretending to be human but then they would just eat the flies oh yeah I'm not sure where that was. And also there is a John Cena anti-heroes TV show when they are all butterflies. The They're all butterflies? They, there are aliens and they butterflies and they're pretending to be humans. Oh. And they're like, oh, this is what humans do. And they would never eat. And then you go to see how they eat. They eat like some kind of nectar or something. They just put a tongue yeah. straw or whatever it is. To the wall and that's like how they eat that's so not lizard people but butterfly people i forgot what tv show it's called he got pet eagle the john cena oh the peace, peacemaker peacemaker yes oh. uh, but they have butterfly people they're pretending to oh this is what humans do Getting yes something. oh no we're not no, mm -hmm. I can't sort my camera out, so we're just going. We're just going to have to do the next twenty minutes cameraless because it's being annoying. Uh, more, more space for me. To yeah, be more space for you to. You, be you cannot be pretty. Yeah. What you doing? <laughs> what do you mean? What am I doing? There was a black uh, square over your picture. Oh yeah, there was. Yeah, that was me trying to fix it, but then it made it worse. So we're just going to leave it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust myself anymore. Mm. I'm not sure how to deal with the head. Uh, it should be maybe more saturated. Tortoise head, this one, it looks... Um, these are not the like scaly, way too scaly. Yeah. I need to group all of these, but then again, without that extra, there is not much to show for it. Mm -hmm. At least what I think. Mm. Uh, Dan does drawing says stop me if I'm wrong uh, you're using one brush and one layer the question uh, is it possible to use this kind of technique on a professional level I'm using one brush for rendering there was one for sketching one for rendering uh, maybe later uh, yeah I did use the just airbrush for this gradient mm. and it's not one layer it's many layers I just add clip mask and then merge you could get out with just using like two or three brushes professionally, yes. Mm -hmm. If you know how to use them. Yeah. I mean, Leone doesn't use that many brushes. I know that much for sure. He uses Jaden brush. He uses Jaden brush, yeah. He uses my face as a brush and that's all. Um, I will use your face to clean up the floors. Wow, thank you so much. It's so nice of you. Uh, uh, That's how you say it? Yeah. Ilya's art says, can we all appreciate how cute the snail is? I know, he's so adorable. Look at him. It's Gary. It's Gary. Meow. <laughs> wow. I don't know, they look pretty sketchy to me. Oh my god. Mist, mist, come on, man. You're killing me here. Still mist? Yeah. Still? <laughs> He's for Portland, send him to Portland police. Yeah. <laughs> if uh, I remember it. Jaden's looking so good right now, I don't know why. Yeah, man, I, this is my new look. It's my new look. I call it bold and brash. Oh. That was a Spongebob. That was a Spongebob reference. Really? Yeah. It's from the one where Spongebob goes to art class with Squidward and uh, oh. Squidward is uh. like, this is bold and, it's bold and brash. And then the garbage man comes along and is like, more like belongs in the trash. <laughs> and just bins it. Okay. At my language is like, these are uh, you Nazi stretch. We should call but you smash. So that's how they write. Oh, okay. These are the heroes of happiness. More like throw it in trash. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's why I didn't get it. Yeah. This is bold and brash. More like belongs in the trash. It's classic. Um. 
I wish I wish snails meowed in real life. Yeah, me too. Me too. Every time you step on the snail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Real. <laughs> Jaden, be honest, you're just molting and can't show us on cam. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Snails eat mushrooms, though. This one is about to have a large snack. Hell yeah. This one managed to climb on a tortoise and uh, and climb onto the, onto the mushroom on its back. That's pretty impressive. It always reminds, like, seeing this makes me think of, like, an alternate version of Discworld. Where... Ah, uh, uh, Discworld. Mm. Yeah, where the, the world is a disc on the back of four elephants on the back of a giant space tortoise. Oh, we got another one from Mist. I once got in legal trouble because I couldn't fall asleep. I was resisting arrest. Oh, that's so bad. That's a bit too much because I need to think about three words to translate. Yeah. <laughs> to get to fun. <laughs> Yeah, Discworld. I remember reading the audiobooks or listening to the audiobooks when I was younger. I also read audiobooks. Yeah. You do recordings for audiobooks. But only horror, only horror books. I don't know what else to do. I'm doing a bit of this bit and that because there is no time to progress much further. So I'm like, okay, let's do a bit of this. Mm. Maybe a bit of that. Yeah. Uh, let's see what overlay will bring us. Mm. So Terry Pratchett was the best or is the best. Yeah. Terry Pratchett was really cool. I know uh, me and some people I went to uni with got a chance to meet his daughter because she does writing for games, which I think is pretty neat. Checkered cat. I <laughs> sorry, Elvira. I see nothing wrong here. I listen to paper books. They speak to me. It's a strange voice in my head whenever I read things. It terrifies me. Nah. I always have a voice in my head. It sounds kind of like me, and I don't like it. Oh, that's rad. It was pretty rad. We all have a worm in our brains. Maybe. They put it they put I them put, in the water. I put three there. They're like we need to take out this worm in the game. I'm like, let's add three more. Are you there, Jaden? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was reading. I was reading the chat. You said something about worms, and then you had to take take them out and add more. What? Say it again. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> hey, then what you did with the worms in the game? In in what game? In a Starion game, what you did with worms? 
Oh, I left them. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't touch them. You didn't add more. No, 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 no. But more is better. I don't. Always. I, I don't trust them. It's already one there. What's gonna two more do? Well, it makes it worse. That's that's the whole thing. It gives you more powers, but it makes it worse. See, this a handsome man in my dream told me to do so. I so I did. <laughs> I had a hands. I had a. I had a beautiful lady in my dream tell me to do it. But then I went. I don't trust you. <laughs> and didn't do it. <laughs> See, you should always trust pretty people. Ah, uh, okay. Room. Okay. I'm gonna really resist the urge not to make this into like a an insult. So. <laughs> What's the optimal amount of brain worms? Hmm. N probably none. I'm gonna say none. It's because he's a lizard. It's because I'm a lizard and I'd like to he's, eat them instead of having them in my brain. Um, actually, to, if you have questions again, so we can talk about something more interesting and maybe we at least one brain cell included. That's that's no fun. We are happy to hear them. Using brain cells. Oh, there we go. You got one from Leo. Total amount of brain worms or brain worm density. Exactly. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say total amount of brain worms. Although, I don't know. Oh, here you go. You got one from Mist. What's your favorite site for finding photo study references? There you go. I, I don't have favorite site. It's like I would watch video. I would snap the screenshot if I like it from the video. I would be on a blog reading about something else and maybe there is nice photo. Maybe the lighting is nice um, or the shape or some animal. Sometimes I wouldn't find the it would be just small resolution and mm. I would uh, reverse Google image as much as possible until I find a bit bigger image. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I would spend uh, like 20 minutes on it. <laughs> but I'm like, I need to have a bit bigger image. And then I would save them for later to study if I don't have idea and that I don't have always to search again and again mm -hmm. especially nowadays when it's really hard to get to real photo yeah um, so I already have a bunch of those that I would like to study already mm. you got that you got that database full up yeah until my uh, hard drive crashes <laughs> yeah you need to put them in a google drive anything but google drive I, I hate it i my google drive is full from the previous phone i was paying for it and i stopped paying for it and now every two days your google drive is full i didn't even emotion. realize i didn't even realize google drive could be full i just assumed i don't know why i just never reached that point in a google drive of it saying that it's full well mine is why don't you make a second two years. make a second google account and then just use it to dump all of your references. I mean, I, I have a bunch of them, but I, I don't like using Google Drive. No, fair enough. It's slow, it's glitchy. It's... I have like 80 gigabytes of images. What do you mean? Damn. Leo says I have like, I have like four full Google Drives. Jeez. Google is losing money at this point. <laughs> I think you can like, you can I pay for stop. more space, but it's like I did pay for more space. Oh, I was gonna say at that point then, you just make a new account. Then I stopped paying them, and now they're begging me to delete stuff. Oh, it's all but I cannot receive emails you. now. Even your emails are full. I think it's the same thing. Um, oh, it's shit. Emails, uh, yeah. Oh, okay.
Elvira says, I have four full external hard drives and you want more? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Don't go for hard drives, though. Go for SSDs. Hard drives are going to break easier. You think? Yeah. SSD can also break. Yeah, but not as easy. Like a hard drive, you're relying on a, on it reading a disk, whereas an SSD is, is not that. It's like virtual storage. Okay, uh -huh. who is more likely to survive nuclear fallout? Hmm? Or blood? Uh, me. No, the disk, you are not surviving anything. <laughs> I don't think a disk, you I don't think an SSD would survive. You said it yourself, survive. you are not fighting for anything. You, you will be just like, okay, take whatever. That's what you said to <laughs> yeah. me. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to try and survive a nuclear blast. Yeah, but electronics are really sensitive at nuclear blasts. Who is surviving better? Um, what what disk? Neither. Because it's it would just it will just obliterate them both. Well, uh, two kilometers away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Leo says my last SSD broke and I lost everything. Oh man, that sucks. See, hard drives. Yeah, but hard drives break as well. You can't. <laughs> what, what do you mean? Leo said SSD broke. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, according to Wally, only roaches will survive. We need to start using them for records. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Engrave They're all of the data you need onto the the shell of a cockroach. Re really hard to catch though. Mm. And then your neighbor got all your data. The problem with Excuse roach is records is that they have too many bugs. Oh no 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh, I thought I thought I hated these plants, but if they're with animals, I think I like them. Yeah. Oh, here you go. Here you go. Leo said I had that SSD after my hard drive broke. So. They both suck, and I agree with Elvira that we need to start using roaches for data. Leo, on which side you are on? <laughs> the big side here, okay? He's on the winning side. So not yours? No, mine. My side. No. No? Yes. We need to start making chitin armor out of them. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Army. yeah. You start, you you start on that, and uh, and we'll 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 PayPal you when you're done making the armor, okay? But there is cheating armor. I think that's the simpler one, and there is the other one where you go to the veil. Is that called? And there are two or three bugs in the whole game, and you need to mine them, mine mine them. But the mining will kill them. So if you mine them like two times, they will survive, but you cannot f uh, make the full thing. Uh, was it the armor? I forgot what is it. Or you can kill them and make the whole thing. Mm. What game were you even talking about right now? Skyrim. Oh, oh okay. I thought you might have been talking about Skyrim, but I got confused. <laughs> There's think... only one game, Jaden. No, no, the <laughs> game. <isn't. laughs> I was confused because I think you can make chitin armor in Ark, but yeah. I was like, but I was like, I know Melissa hasn't played Ark, so I don't know what she's talking about. Ark survival. Yeah, yeah. I do. It has a big like, it has a big monkey thing that you can ride on its shoulders, because it's a big monkey. I don't know. Uh, 
Miss Miss said, I'm encouraging both sides indiscriminately. I just want violence. In Skyrim, you have the natchez, and you can also ride on them. It's like big, big bug. Yeah. And there is a saddle on top. Is that in? Isn't that in one of the expansions? In the one that takes you back to like Morrowind or something? Not Morrowind. The, the not the Waterfall. The so, so, so. I forgot the name. I dishonored the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Fake fan. I will remember it. I will remember and message you at, at a, 1 a.m. after the midnight. You're a fake fan. The, yeah, I'm the fake fan. Soul's time. Soul's time, yeah, on nice. S. Thank you, Lisa. We know that Lisa's a real fan of Skyrim, unlike some people. <laughs> Oh no. Now you've gone. Come back. Oh, you're back. You're back. You know, I actually can live physically. Oh, yeah. oh, because of all of this abuse. Oh, what? What? What abuse? I've treated you with nothing what but murder. I've, I've treated you with nothing but respect. What murder? Your Honor, I didn't kill her. She just tripped and fell onto my knife. Okay. I think you're gonna say that time is up and we are somewhere mm -hmm. there. This is what we have done, just to copy to show the progress. Yep, yep. First we have a sketch of baby turtle. Mm -hmm. Then I added some mushrooms, flats. Mm -hmm. Started coloring in the mushrooms. Okay, we there. This is in almost two hours. I spent first 20 minutes talking about mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> you should try them, especially the wild ones. Yeah. But uh, you should also know which one you can pick. For example, this one, uh, it's really tasty. You can uh, just take off the the part, the stump, and then add a bit of salt and put it on a stove on mm -hmm. top of it. And then it will cook for a few minutes and then mm -hmm. you eat it, it's it's really tasty. But you can also mix it with two other different, one of which is poisonous. So if you don't know which one is it, and maybe it looks exactly like it, but the time of the year is wrong and it's not growing at that time, it's probably the wrong mushroom. <laughs> you, you barely can make mistake with this one. There is one similar called uh, the fails. Mm -hmm. um, chanterelle, but it's also uh, for eating. And this one, this one is also really hard to mistake it just for looks others. like It just looks like wood. It doesn't even look real. Yeah, they, uh, they are supposed to be hidden from you. So they look like leaves and wood, so you don't uh... eat them. I guess. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, Melissa. For the for the amazing biology biology lesson and and uh, beautiful little tortoise dude. So will you finally go at the forest uh, to pick mushrooms with me? Um, I'll go and pick them with you, but I will not eat them. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, uh, you know what? I'll try. I'll try the ones that look nice. Okay, so now I have on recorded that you want to go in forest with me. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Nikolaiko said all mushrooms are edible, some just once. Yeah, that's what we said at the start of the stream too. <laughs> um, Rigello Paula said your mushroom turtle is adorable, thank you for your time. Yes, thank you so much Melissa for your time, thank you everybody for coming to watch. Um, don't forget about our uh, amazing uh, competition that we have going on right now. We launched it today, sponsored by Hueyon. Some fantastic prizes up for grabs uh, is Hatchling Havoc. It's all about, you know, drawing a cute little baby beastie. Um, go and join the Discord and check out the uh, the brief in there. We've created a nice little mood board for you to use as reference, but you can also check out our old Beaster Eggs competition from a couple of years ago. Uh, the prizes include, let me remove my head out of the way. 
There we go. Uh, the prizes include a Huon Canvas Pro 13 and a one-to-one -one portfolio review, a Huon Inspiroy Q11 KV2, a Huion Inspiroy Inc. H320M, and four months of Discord Nitro. So if you haven't already considered taking part, then definitely do it. It's totally worth it, and it's going to be a lot of fun to see what everyone comes up with. Um, submissions uh, are due on the... Well, submissions end on the 7th of uh the the month that i've just forgotten 7th of april <laughs> at uh, 2359 gmt that is midnight uh on our discord we will then review them and pick our top three entries on april the 10th so be there or be square um <laughs> but uh that is it that is it from us today thank you so much again um, do check out the competition. Honestly, it really is worth it, especially for those amazing prizes from Huey on. Um, but yeah, until until next time, we will we'll see you later. I'll be back on Wednesday for our next stream. So goodbye, everybody. I don't know why I'm waving. You can't see me. But bye, bye. bye. I, will, I will wave it too. Yeah. Bye, bye. <laughs> bye, everybody.